We are doing exercise number seven, word processing exercise number seven, combining tabs and indents. And this has been done using the online version of Microsoft Word this time. So just gonna go ahead and set it up. So for this one, we're going to be using tab stops and we're going to be using indents. So to set this one up, we're going to add a couple of tab stops so round about there-ish, I'm going to say maybe one and a half inches or whatever that measure is. Right click, insert tab stop, and that's going to be a right tab stop. And a little bit further over, we're going to add a right click, insert another tab stop, a left tab stop. And also we're going to move our indent, our hanging indent, we're going to move that over so that it is lined up with that uh, tab stop there. Right, so that should be all we need to do. The first line needs to be centered. So let's just do that first. Oh, no, it's fine, no, no dramas. Put in a heading. Except this does need to be all capitals. So let's just fix that up. Better. Great. Okay, now we're just going to hit the tab key. Tab key again. Enter, tab. I'm just going to keep going until that's all filled out. Now here, for this next one, I'm just going to tab twice. Notice how that once we got to the end of this line, instead of it going all the way back to the start here, which you could have done, we can move this indent so that it lines up. I'll make sure that doesn't move. Okay, so the actual accurate indentation should be about there so that they line up. Okay, now we just need to bold everything on this side so we can go control B, make it quicker. And that is done. Too easy.